right now I really feel like this has been a week that has just been all about eloping because of course first Tessie got out the front door while I was taking Maggie to the bus and then Maggie eloped on Sunday and now I have one more story to tell you and I'm really hoping that it's just the last story. Ultimately, I'm going to let the video of it speak for itself. No, that's not true. <laughs> you will get to see the video. But first I'm going to tell you exactly how this unfolded. And the truth is, when Maggie's home, I'm basically always on guard. I'm thinking about where she is, what she's doing, whether or not she's eloping. Like, I know she can be downstairs playing because I like her to be able to have some space. I don't want to have to be hovering over her every minute. Not just for me, not just because you really can't be on guard 24-7, but because I want the house to be kid-proofed to a point that she could have a little bit of privacy, that she can go to her room or she can go to the playroom and she can play without having to have an adult hovering over her. So the way that we basically designed the inside of our house when we moved into it was by going around it and looking at it and looking for weaknesses that she could exploit in her way and trying to make it safe for everyone, for the entire family. So I like to be able to monitor her intermittently. I mean, spend time with her, obviously, but also I like her to be able to have space when she wants her space because, I mean, she is almost nine and there are times when she just wants to be by herself and so I like to be able to give her a little bit more space and freedom when she wants that freedom. Obviously that doesn't include when she runs off. <laughs> when she is home, I do always kind of have my guard up and as soon as I put her on the bus to go to school, that does drop. I feel like when she's on the bus, my guard drops, and when I drop Tessie off at school, it drops even lower. It's sort of, I have this time, they're gone, I can clean, I can get stuff done, and I don't have to think about what are they doing, what are they into. I just, that part of my brain can rest and turn off for a little bit. So, yesterday, I put Maggie on the bus, and I talked to the bus driver for a minute because we chat every day. And then I turned around and I started walking back to the house. And the door hadn't closed yet. I don't usually stand there until the door closes. It's never been an issue. Maggie likes going to school. When I had walked her out to the bus though, I just had this weird feeling that she was in an eloping mood. In fact, I said something to the bus driver as I handed her up into the bus, as she walked up into the bus. I said, I think she's thinking about running. Because as we walked outside, she kept looking down the hill towards the cornfield. And her, her head was just turned the whole time we were walking in that direction, looking that way. And that is really unusual. Usually she's like, I see bus, I see bus coming, I see bus. It was super out of character for her to be looking the other direction and not looking at the bus when we're walking towards the bus. But I had a hold of her. I got her on the bus and she didn't get straight into her seat but I think that the bus driver has her and I turn around and I'm halfway back to the house or a good ways back to the house at least and I heard something and I don't exactly know what I heard I think maybe he yelled I'm not sure but I heard a sound and I turn back around and I see her come down the steps so fast that she has gotten away from him and she just books it down the street and I take off as fast as I can because her bus driver isn't the type that's going to be super fast sprinting after her. She had gotten a jump on him and she just takes off. She makes it to the road and she takes off down the road and I am already, there's the whole driveway between us and the path between us so I took off as fast as I could after her and I actually, my first grip on her was when I reached, I felt myself like grab her, start to grab her jacket, and I felt her jacket give a little ways, and so I grabbed her and got her, got actually a hold of her and stopped her, and immediately she, she stops and she's laughing because she thinks it's funny. When I watch the video, I kind of feel like, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I look like a cop walking her back to the bus with the bus driver and the bus driver was coming after her too and so he helps us walk there and then he said could you please stand here until I close the door and so I did.
And then this morning he talked to me, we talked about how scary it was. Cause that was the first time she'd pulled anything like that with him. She always goes to her seat. Sometimes she even like puts the harness on herself. So that was just a totally new experience for him. He had heard the stories about her, but he'd never actually seen her in action. And seeing Maggie in action is totally different than like hearing the stories, but having her be this sweet little good girl who goes and sits down and is like, you know, sweet. So I mean, I'm sure he deals with her getting out of her seat and all that. I'm sure he's dealt with her naughtiness, but it is still very different from seeing her try to run and seeing her try to elope, which is prob which is, let's face it, like one of her number one behaviors. Today he told me that he had talked to the bus company and they said that the new protocol was that I need to remain standing outside of the bus until she is completely strapped in. They have some new straps that they're using too and he was telling he was telling me about that actually before she ran away and I was like yeah totally fine when he showed me that and there's like a new chest strap that's part of our car seat and I was basically I basically said yeah I totally understand I mean it's really hard to keep her in any harness so use whatever sort of car seat harness you guys need to to keep her safe on the bus so she's not running back and forth up the bus aisle while you are driving her to school. So that is the latest in the autism eloping saga. She is really amazing when it comes to her drive both to run and to just take off. I know she thinks it's funny. I am trying to figure out a way to get some sort of harness that is strong enough that she can use it that I think she'll actually like it when she realizes what I'm doing that we can run together with because I was running a lot last year before I got sick then I got sick and stopped running I want to start running again and I think she would like to run I mean she even says she likes to run I'm wondering if we started running together if that would work and I mean it's no way we can run really I don't think it would work us running holding hands that would just it would be way too hard it's hard to hold hands and walk with her but I'm wondering if we had some sort of harness that gave her a little bit more freedom if that connected either wrists that connected like to my wrist so that we could run together I uh, and maybe we could try it out at a track first and if it works at the track then go on runs together maybe off the track and that could kind of maybe partially I know even when we were taking her to a track to run before she was still trying to elope but I'm really hoping that maybe that would at least somewhat satisfy that urge of hers to just take off and run anyways <sighs> If this is my last eloping post for a while, I'm totally fine with that. I'm really hoping it is. Or at least, you know, I'm hoping that the next time I talk about eloping here that it's because I am making a post to help other parents dealing with eloping and not because we've had an incident here and I'm talking about the fallout from it or how we're dealing with it or new ideas for it. Anyways, that's it for today. If you like this video, we'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in all things autism, we'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. As always, I love to hear from you in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.